Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I can finally show you the planner that I have been working on. Um, I've done a few layouts um, in uh, my weekly spreads and um, you know said that I, I couldn't show you my planner because I was working on it. So here it is. I decided to do one um, based on the well, it's a combination of the Pink Passport and the new LOL collection, uh, both by Hobby Lobby. So I decided to do that this time around. Um, so for the planner itself, I decided to use this light pink Webster's Pages personal size planner. It is faux leather. I love it. It's super chunky oh my goodness I think I filled it up a bit too much but anyway that is the planner that I'm using um, I got it on Etsy for an amazing price I think it was like oh my goodness I can't remember how much it was but it was a really really good price considering that these are like 30 to 40 dollars and um, the pen I'm using is really fun it's this poofy uh, lipstick pen that I got from Paper Chase and the charm that I'm using is this pink and black poofy with bling charm it has an M for my name and I think it looks so cute against the baby pink so I decided to use that this time and then um, I used one of the LOL girl stickers to um, decorate the front. I'm afraid that this is not going to stay on. I'm just trying to determine the best way to keep that on because I know that if I throw this into my purse, it's eventually going to fall off. But anyway, that's what I have. So let me open my planner. So as I mentioned, I did my setup purely on the pink passport and the lol so this is the dashboard that i came up with and it is another shaker um i decided to use really pastel -y colors this time around i also included some of these nail polish and lipsticks that i recently well not recently but i hauled from japan love the way that that turned out i've got some silver stars in here some bigger pink hearts i love it so pretty so on the front here um if this is your first time watching a setup video of mine, I do not use the front pockets for any sort of purpose except just to make it pretty. That is the whole purpose of this section right here. So um, I'm again using this sparkly doily that I got from Michaels. I used it in the uh, previous planner. And I think I used this one as well. I love this tool paper clip it's so pretty I got that from Etsy as well as the Chanel and this is I think a Prima marketing paper clip it came in a package of four and this I got from Etsy this is creative B I've shown that one before I think I've shown this one, I'm not 100% sure, but I just created it using Dollar Tree stickers that they had out during Valentine's Day. Here I used one of those uh, sequin bows and made a paperclip out of that. And then uh, this is a paperclip made out of the Tim Ree cards that uh, Michaels was selling a few years ago. And this black heart I also got from Etsy. This picture here that I put into the the window pocket uh, came from the Fashionista Paper Pad by Michaels. And then I have one of those Kate Spade bows. So I do want to mention that if you have seen uh, a platter setup video of mine 
previously, then some of this is going to be a repeat, unfortunately, because I do like to use certain things throughout the year, even though I have, you know, a new theme going. Sometimes I do keep the same things each time I switch planners. So I do apologize in advance if you've already seen it. But anyway, I remember last time, or one time I did a setup video just showing what was new based, you know, from the previous planner and um, uh, somebody mentioned that they'd like to see the entire thing. So I'm going to do the entire thing again, but again, I do apologize if it's a repeat. So I'll go quickly. This is a bookmark that I got from Etsy. This is a gift bag that I got from Daiso. I just cut it out and then I laminated it and then I put this image on the back because I couldn't quite take the get rid of this part right here so I just use it to cover that up. This is a calendar, a year at a get glance calendar that I created myself. I just like to see the whole year on one page. And then this is a ruler that I got from my Kiki K planner. This is my first pocket collage. It is Halloween themed and um, I absolutely love Halloween. I'm so excited that Halloween's coming up. And so this is my homage to it. You know, this is my way of saying that it, my representation of my love for Halloween. So I keep this one all year round. Again, I've shown this probably about four times now. So I do apologize if you've seen it before. And I had this in my previous planner. It was just a um, piece of 12 by 12 paper that I cut and folded to make a, a folder. And that separates this part of the planner from my bills. And this is the tag. I used this last planner as well, but because obviously we're going with the whole Hobby Lobby planner girl thing, um, I decided to keep it for this planner as well. And this is my bill sheet that I create. I like to keep track of all the bills that are owed for a particular month so that um, I make sure that I am on time and I'm not in arrears. And so I created these bill sheets for that purpose. Really simple. I just have, you know, what bill, what, how much, uh, when it's due, how much is due, and if I actually paid it. Keeps me very organized and this has worked very well for me. Here I made a treat bag using one of the papers from the Pink Passport and uh, this cutout also comes from the Pink Passport. I think it's super cute. I love the way this has turned out and I really like the, the color combinations. Yeah, super cute. So this is the pocket collage that I came up with for this planner. I love it. I am so in love with this, you guys. So I will show you. It's so girly. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. So for the side, I decided to use this washi um, from Michaels and it has it just has some lipsticks and some gold foil lips and then I used a string of this bling just to well bling it up <laughs> so for the papers I use the pink passport papers and here I had a sticker um, of this poof and then I had some cutouts some some hard cutouts and then this glitter rose sticker I got from Japan. This it came from the confetti mix from Party City. For this pocket here, I cut out one of those lipsticks from the Tim Ricards. This came from a wrapping paper in my stash. And then I just blinged it up with some rhinestone stickers and some of these pearl hearts that I hauled from AliExpress. I love this pocket here. So here, I decided to use a sticky note that came with, um, I think it was called Glam. It was um, a collection that both Joanne and Hobby Lobby ha had. It was, I can't remember what it was, 
I think it was Glam. It was for the planner or Happy Planner. And so I just, I had this sticky note, so I decided to use it as a frame. I love the way that's turned out. I cut out this girl from my washi. And again, blinged it up with some more of these pearl hearts. And then these tiny, tiny pink sparkly hearts are nail stickers I got from Dollar Tree. Here I just used some of these lip stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. Super simple and then just blinged it up with some more of these rhinestone stickers. Here I cut out this perfume bottle from a dye that I had in my stash. It fit absolutely perfectly which is awesome. Um, I cut it out of this black glittery paper and I used the rhinestone heart that I got from Dollar Tree. Again, more bling. I decided to use this kind of bluish color just to tie in this paper and just, you know, make it more cohesive. And then I had these pearl hearts in my stash. I also put this white piece almost looking like a label. So love the way that's turned out. And then this pocket, I decided I had this sticker from a sticker book that I got from Hobby Lobby. I backed her on some paper because it's a clear sticker, so I didn't want to see the, you know, the back of the, or the front of the papers that she'll be resting on. And so I backed it and then just um, taped her on the front. And then I had these beautiful rose gold foil stickers I got from Japan. And then again, more bling. So I love the way this has turned out uh, quickly. If, you, if this is the first time you've seen my planner, uh, this is what I like to call a pocket collage. I love, love, love pocket letters, but when I was only planning, um, I didn't have any pen pals, and I had really no re ne ne excuse me, if I really had no reason to create pocket letters. But I love the way that they looked. I love the concept of them, you know, how you get a theme and you work around it. And I wanted one for my planner. So I have had one in my planner for the past year now. And I love making them to fit the theme. So I'm super happy with the way this has turned out. I made another treat bag. And this was using the um, Hobby Lobby paper. The loose sheets that first came out before the LOL collection came out. And that was super cute and super easy to do. Here I took a piece of vellum from the same pink passport collection. I stamped a bunch of girly cute images that um, I had in my stash using Stazon ink because it is vellum. Uh, I would have to, I had to use Stazon because otherwise it's not going to dry because it's not a very porous material. So, love the way that's turned out. I used some of the girls from the LOL collection. Um, I had this nail polish that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I got these eyelashes also from Hobby Lobby. These shoes, and this is supposed to be part of a heart, but <laughs> you can't really tell. And the lips come from the Creative Stamping. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Creative Stamping magazine that came with those glam stamps and then these perf this perfume bottle here and this one and the bag and the flowers come from a stamp set that I just got from AliExpress which I will show you in a uh, fall, uh, well future haul. So that separates this part of the planner from my gift ideas and so this just helps me keep track of the ideas that I have for people's birthdays and Christmases um, because normally I think about buying things throughout the year and by the time it comes to buying it for that person I can't remember what it was so I like to write it down as soon as I think of it so that I can reference back to it when it comes time to buying the present. Here I just made a little dashboard thing. Um, I cut out this, I fussy cut out this girl from one of the LOL cards and I laminated it and I also sprinkled some of these heart sequins with it 
turned out okay. Um, I don't know what happened with the shape. I must have cut it um, incorrectly, but what are you going to do? But I like it. I think it's cute, and it's, it's a nice separation. Here I made another one of these folders. This time I used the paper from the LOL collection. This is from the 8.5 by 11 paper pad. This is a divider that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is a divider that I made out of the sheet um, from the Pink Passport. I love this one with the perfume bottles, absolutely gorgeous. I included some of these sticky notes that I got from the LOL collection just because this is actually more functional. I actually do like to use sticky notes in my planner. So that starts my calendar. Um, I did take out the months of January to March because it was getting really fat and <laughs> chunky. So I had to take it out. Um, I have shown most of these, but quickly I will go through it. This was my April setup. It was based on Ted Baker. This was Easter. This was my fur baby's uh, birthday week. This was just a sweet kind of springy blossom kind of spread. This was based on shoes and bags. May was a Paris setup. This was my first mermaid setup or layout. Here I went to San Francisco for this week, so I did a layout on that. This was for Mother's Day. This was just uh, using some of these um, girls from a piece of fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is one based on these ballerinas I bought from Etsy. June is just very summery. This is my fairy layout. This is the homage to Kate Spade. This is my makeup. And this is the first week of my Japan layout because I went to Japan for two weeks. July was kind of done on a rush. I just kind of had to get it done. So I just used a bunch of these cards that I had in my stash. And um, these lips come from the Pink Passport paper pad. And some of these stickers I got from Japan. This was my second layout for Japan. And this was the last layout I did for Japan um, just because she really reminded me of myself <laughs> with the camera and the LV bag. I mean, that's... Anyway, that's what I was doing in, in Japan. So this is a layout that I did uh, on my own without filming it because I was so behind. I just decided to use this really cute greeting farm stamp and ah, she's so cute and I just really made it very girly and pink this was my second mermaid mermaid layout and I did film this one and August is another summery um, layout I found this picture on Pinterest which I absolutely loved and the stickers came from a Create 365 sticker book that I got from Michaels. The washi also comes from Michaels. This paper clip here I made out of a hair barrette. This week was the week of Meow Fest, which <laughs> is, was a cat festival. Loved it, had such a great time. So these cats here all come from their correspondence. So I just I decided to print them up and use them in my layout. This is also another layout that I didn't get to film just because I was so behind. Um, I had these Greeting Farm stamp stickers. And I have these stamps, but... Um, I didn't have time, so I had, I've had i already made these stickers in the past, and they're already colored because they're the stock colors, and so that's what I decided to use. Um, and some of these other stickers come from that Happy Planner Glam sticker book. This was the layout based on the LOL collection, which I did film, and this is the week that we're in right now, which I did kind of like a shopping in the city thing. And this paperclip comes from Etsy. Somebody actually made this. It's amazing to me. Okay. 
So here I had this cute planner girl with glasses um, as a card. So I just cut her out and stuck her down with some washi. And this separates this part of the planner from my to buy list. So I like to write down things that I've seen in people's hauls, things I've seen online, things I've seen on TV, whatever. If I want to buy it for myself, I like to write down the name of the store and what I want to buy. So then I check off. And so that way I won't forget again. This is <laughs> to help me remember things or not have to remember so that I can reference back to it. And then this is my next divider from the pink passport paper pad. And that separates this part of the planner from my to-do sheets. This is just obviously self-explanatory. It's just a to-do sheet. This divider here comes from the pink passport paper pad again. I think I used this in my previous planner. So this is a repeat. And this starts my online shopping tracker. I buy a lot of stuff online and a lot of it comes from China. So I really need to keep track to make sure that I receive what I'm supposed to receive. So I always write down what I buy and um, you know when it's been shipped and if I actually have received it. This way I can look back and see what I haven't received because sometimes things don't get to me. That's just the reality. And so I want to make sure that you know if, if I don't actually receive the item that I need to be reimbursed for it. So that is really that's been really really helpful for me as well. And then this one I think is a repeat as well. Um, I just decided to use one of these Michaels uh, dividers. It comes with the Michaels planner. Backed it with some of this gold foil lipstick paper that I think is from the Get Glam paper collection. And that separates this part of the planner from my wish list, which is more generic. It's not specific to any store. It's just you know, something I need, something I want, uh, you know, for example, I need to, oh dear, <laughs> she wants to say hello. Um, I still need to buy myself a hand vacuum, so that's going to go on my wish list, uh, that sort of thing. You know, I need a new rug, but it's not specific to any store, so that's where the wish list comes in. And then I have another divider from the Pink Passport. I love this paper so much, I used it twice. <laughs> And this is just my brain dump. You know, they're just the, they're just the lined pages for me to write notes down. You know, here I've got some planner projects in mind that I like to work on and people's birthdays and that sort of thing. Here I have another one of these dividers from Michaels. I again backed it with some of this lipstick paper and this magnetic clip is also from Michaels and then here I have this adorable bag it is from Hobby Lobby um, unfortunately I think it's made for the A5 because the holes don't match up so I just kind of keep it in the back one for decoration but two I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in it so that I can actually use it because it seems kind of a waste if I just you know, leave it in the back just to be pretty, but that is what the function of that is for right now. So that is my entire planner for, I'm not going to say this month because um, even though I have every intention of having a different planner every month, sometimes things get in the way and I just, I can't follow through with that. So I'm just going to say that this is the planner that I'm using right now. And, um, I love the way that it has turned out and I hope you like it too. So thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this. Again, I do apologize if some of these were repeats, but I do hope that uh, you liked it anyway. And until my next video, have an awesome night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.